My kids are in the pool, so I apologize for all the noise, but I just got into the deep in the mail and I wanted to do a little unboxing with you and look at it with you. It's level two into the deep Catholic catechesis. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm so excited. So let's flip through it together. It comes with this little postcard. Sweet. Thank you for joining us in this mission to evangelize a generation. We hope into the deep blesses your family and leads you closer to the heart of God. You are in our prayers. We would love to encourage you as you labor in the vineyard with and for the Lord. Connect with us. And it's Claude Monet. So this is beautiful. I want to like hang this on our little bulletin board. Multi-purpose all day. Sorry for the screaming. The kids are in the pool. This is St. Jerome. When we read sacred scripture, God speaks to us. Tuck this card into your Bible to help you navigate your adventure through level two. Oh, I love this. All the books in the Bible. That's so cool. Okay, let's see. Into the Deep, Catholic Catechesis for Homeschool, level two. Okay, so I already like, I love that it's thick paper, durable. I really like that. Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Okay, so she has a little table of contents, how to use this resource, resource spreading the daily feast, the daily feast, who God is, the most holy trinity, who God says you are, etc. Recommended book lists, you guys know I love that. Okay, how to use this resource, here are the principles behind the resource encourage and help parents in the work that the Lord has already equipped them to do, evangelize the next generation by offering opportunities for them to encounter the person of Jesus, provide children with thorough, deeply Catholic catechesis, draw the hearts of our children to their creator by experiencing the true, good, and beautiful. So here's the structure. Level two can be completed semi-independently by the child or the parent and child can work together throughout the entire study. We wanted to ensure it is usable in whatever format you wish to catechize your child. Read through some of the presentations before the child begins to see how you would like to approach it with your unique child. So here's how to do it with level two independently. Here's how to do it alongside your child. Or you can do a hybrid. Preparation. Preparation for catechesis is twofold. The practical use of this resource requires little to no prep ahead of time. We recommend that you look over the next day's presentation the night before if possible or more realistically five minutes before your school day begins while you finish your cup of coffee. However, we know well that we cannot give what we do not have. We also know the faith is often caught. Your own spiritual formation is deeply important and possibly has the most lasting impact on your child. We encourage you to make daily prayer a priority, the highest priority. Your relationship with God will overflow into your catechesis. Allow your child to witness you praying, reading scripture, learning about the saints, and living a sacramental life. It goes on. The child will also need a notebook for any narrations. You'll also need a Bible on hand. You will find a list of resources at the beginning of each presentation that you can acquire ahead of time. Most of the sta these are standard supplies like drawing paper and scissors. Additionally, it could be helpful to set this time apart from the child's other schoolwork or reading. This can be done simply by lighting a candle, moving to a different area in the home, sitting near a sacred space in your home, or placing a crucifix or other holy image on the table. They say to do two presentations per week over a 36 week school year. Each presentation will take roughly 20 minutes, but it's ultimately at your own pace. It's an open and go resource. And then she explains what the daily feast is, which is a compilation of synthetic prayer and memory work aimed at teaching our children to pray. While the lessons in this resource are structured to be presented twice each week, we highly recommend incorporating the daily feast into your daily rhythm. It's perfect for morning time. It consists of vocal prayer, free prayer, memory verse, Bible story, and a hymn. So they provide additional reading in each presentation, and they also provide a deep dive at the end of each presentation. So if your child is particularly struck by something, these deep dives offer additional suggestions for learning and exploring. 
They're not required, but they may help your family continue conversing and connecting with one another and the Lord. Parent references. You will see references for your own edification. Put a paper clip or sticky note on this page for easy reference each day. So they provide memory verses, vocal prayers, hymns, as suggestions. And let's see one presentation. So let's look at presentation 34. Just picked one at random. Ezekiel and the Shepherd King. Lesson prep, gather your notebook. So that's as they mentioned. Parent reference, Catechism of the Catholic Church, 754. Additional reading, I love that. She has all of these books listed on their website as well, Into the Deep. I think it's .co. So then you're gonna partake in the daily feast and then you're going to read this whole section out loud to your child or again if they're doing it independently they would read it so then here's a little activity look at the chart below to compare the prophecy of ezekiel to jesus's fulfillment of it over 500 years later so it'd be cool to read all of these scriptures um, that they outline are prophesied in ezekiel then there's a closing prayer and a deep dive let's look at one more Presentation 35 for such a time as this, catechism reference, additional reading, partake in the daily feast, and then read through this. They invite you to read scripture, Esther chapter four. So this is some art study. Observe the painting for a few minutes. Don't rush, take in all the details before moving on. Then questions, probably to do some narration about the painting keep reading closing prayer deep dive presentation 36 lesson prep gather crayons colored pencils or watercolor paints and appropriate art paper partake in the daily feast first then you're going to read through this again some scripture to read through so it's inviting you to observe the painting and then spend a few minutes drawing, coloring, or painting this flower on a piece of paper or in a sketchbook. Closing prayer, deep dive. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. Let's do a little flip through to see what else is in here. Let's see what this says. This is about holy orders. To celebrate your good detective work, your one last mission to complete. At the end of this presentation, you will find in scrambled form, a glorious triptych altarpiece painted by someone, an artist, from the years 1445 through 40, 1450. Cut out the strips with each sacrament name, then look back through the sacraments we have studied and put the strips in the order in which they occur in the Gospel of John. Once it is completed, you will be able to behold the full altar piece. That is so cool. I love that. So some picture study, art study, as well as, you know, cutting it out and being interactive with it, which I just love. So let's flip through some more. I love the art in it. I love the different activities. I. I'm honestly just so excited to do this with the girls. I'm thinking of doing it as part of our morning time. Um, but I love the idea of lighting a candle and starting with this. It just makes me so excited and I'm so excited to do it with them and have this resource as a family and do it all together. Beautiful. Let's see what's at the back. Recommended book list. More picture books, chapter books. Oh, and then about the art or the works. And then about the creators. So beautiful. I hope that this is helpful to you. We also have a level one, which I have loved so much to do with my daughter. If you'd like a flip through of that, please let me know down below. But I hope this is helpful for you to learn more about level two of Into the Deep. I'm so grateful to have this as Catholic catechesis for our family. And I hope it is a beautiful resource that you and your family can use as well. Bye.